Hello, fat fans. Welcome to UC Word. So, Eddie Hearn of Matro Boxing did an interview with IFA TV. You know, in that interview, a very progressive interview, I must say, he talked about the signing of Chinese overweight prospect Jilei Zhang. You know, a very good prospect, a guy who has about 20 fights already and has 20 wins, 16 by knockouts. Zhang Jilei is a Chinese everywhere prospect that's going to check the ever division very soon. You know, I actually thought that him signing with Rock Nation would actually elevate his career, but unfortunately, things did not go as planned. But now that he's with Eddie Hearn of Matro Boxing, I mean, he signed a core promotional deal with Eddie Hearn of Matro Boxing, so... I think his career is at the right place. You know, this is what I want Efia Jagba to do. But unfortunately, Jagba still has years left in his contract. And after that one inspire, I heard that Jagba and Apochi are going to renew their contract. Waiter Shella Finko and Aheman. So they are not planning to leave Aheman. <laughs> Never planning to leave him, so... Whether well, they're a problem, in my opinion, I think uh, one should actually seek further, you know, especially when you want to become a big player in the game, you have to definitely join the winning team. Uh, right now, the winning team is at the hearing of Matro Boxing. Matro in general as well. So, let's talk about John Jilei. You know, the guy is known as Big Bang. He's 35 years old from China, made his pro debut in 2014. He's a southpaw, which is very strange for a guy that is 6'6", a southpaw that is 6'6". That is very interesting to see. He resides at Las Vegas, Nevada, USA. Was born in Junku, China. So... He's fought guys like Brian Pauly, Nick Givers, Curtis Alpa, the guy who ran away from uh, F.L. Jagba. You know, he has done quite well. You know, having 16 knockouts out of 25 is something impressive, in my opinion, because, you know, some fighters, you know, they tend to be very big, but they don't have knockout power. Um, he kind of remind me of Tyson Fury in a way, but Tyson Fury is a little bit more skillful, you know, than Zhang Jilei. Uh, Zhang Jilei actually competed against Anthony Joshua in 2012 at the Olympics, you know. And Zhang Jilei, uh, you know, stated at some point that he would like to see Joshua compete against him in China which means Joshua can as well seek for the Chinese market you know if you can conquer the Chinese market you can actually conquer the world because right now China is leading the world in many things okay we all know that we all know that the Chinese influence is growing bigger and bigger people that used to be just like Africa are now much a much more in, in a much better position compared to you know to us you know but I, I think we'll get there anyway so what has Jan Jilei got to offer when will he be fighting according to Mr. Hearn himself Mr. Hearn stated that Jan Jilei might be fighting next week you know going in against Tom Lidu you know Tom Lidu is a guy that uh, it's very derivative, you know, Dribble and is a guy that actually knows how to fight. You know, he gave uh, David Price a very good fight until that fight got stopped. And I think he can actually do better, you know. I guess Jan Jilei, we never know what we expect because Jan Jilei hasn't really been tested yet, but he's fought a couple of good guys, you know. His last fight was against Don Hainesworth. Don Hainesworth is a guy that I, I know, you know. Uh, you know, uh, when Don Hennis was fought him, he had like 15 wins on his record and just two losses. 
So Jangeli actually knocked John Aylesworth out cold in a very impressive fashion as well. So I can see what Eddie Hearn is trying to do right now. You know, Eddie Hearn is a guy who thinks very far compared to the rest of the promoters who call themselves the big dogs. Eddie Hearn doesn't just base, you know, his <clears throat> reach in the UK or the US. He actually won't reach out to the world, including to Africa, including to Asia and the Pacific Ocean. So Eddie Hearn is doing a very good job in trying to elevate boxers like John J. Lee Carrera. John J. Lee also remind me of, or not your day, what do you mean? The Godzilla. You know, Godzilla, we know, is an Olympian as well. You know, they didn't really, um, uh, you know, get his name out there after the Olympics. I mean, the guy has some problems as well. You know, uh, and he, ha he hasn't really been easy for Godzilla, but I think Godzilla, uh, we get there. I just think he can do it. So, Janjali, I actually definitely be watching the fight. And just see how he fails in general. You know, I have watched a couple of his fights. I think he's a very good heavyweight. He can actually fight and he can actually box, which is a little bit, uh, a little bit surprising, you know. But let's just see what happens, guys. Uh, I'm gonna be, uh, gonna be very, very um, alert and keep watch for his next fight against Tom Lidu or other open it give it us below guys like the video share and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel please go follow me on instagram at the boxing block center and as well on twitter at boxing block cheers everyone